Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Let's talk about uh, calm and chaos. Ooh. Now, it's kind of ironic, actually. Let me just be clear for me to talk about being calm because I am a ball of energy most of the time. I understand anxiety because I am anxiety. And let me just say, like personally, like literally, I understand anxiety because I have it. And not just, oh, I'm stressed, but actual anxiety. Okay, so I get that. So if you are experience that, I can honestly say I understand that. When I'm talking about calm in chaos, That basically describes life right now, doesn't it? It really does. Because even people who don't have anxiety, there is stressors and tension and constant bombardment of new crazy things going off the rails. And it is just almost unbelievable how many things have challenged us and created obstacles or pain or this threshold of, I don't believe it. Like, what is happening right now? Like, you just, there's just disbelief. So I want to give you some guidance based on my experiences about how to be calm when there is chaos around you, because we cannot... We know, you know, you know it. Especially if you have kids, you know this for true. You can't control others. You can't control others. You can try to influence them, but you cannot control them. And it will just frustrate you, make you angry, and contribute to the chaos when you try to control the actions of others or the feelings of others. You can't control other people's behavior. You can't control other people's feelings. But what you can do, now this is the key, everyone. Listen, listen. This is the key. What we can do, what we, we can do is manage ourselves. Yes, yes, you can manage yourself. <laughs> yes, you can. And some days, let me just tell you, as I'm going to have a sip of coffee right now, a nice hot coffee. Oh, mm. Some days, you can't even manage yourself, can you? Come on, nod your head with me. Let's do the head bob. Yes, <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. So in these crazy town times, let me just say, it's like crazy town. I mean, it just feels like, what the heck? There's uncertainty, lack of control. There's all these things that, we kind of thought we had these false beliefs, these limited beliefs in action where like, oh, I have some control over my environment. I have some control over other people around me. I have some control over my relationships. Well, not exactly. No. So the mind is really messed up right now. Your brain is probably really mad. Yeah, it's really not happy. And so what it's going to do, it's going to buckle down. It's going to get more stubborn. It is going to hold tight. But really, really, that's not going to help. It's just going to give you headaches. Trust me, I know this. It's going to give you tension headaches and stress headaches, and you're going to eat lots of carby stuff and sugary stuff and drink extra coffee. Trust me, I know this. I know. I got, I've been drinking extra coffee lately so that I can match the energy of uncertainty, which kind of feels like a fuzzy, an energy of, not fuzzy in a good way, let me tell you, fizzy. How about that fizzy, fizzy pop bottle shaken up? Lots of carbonation. That's how it feels inside. So we eat stuff or drink stuff or do stuff to help us work with that crazy energy that's inside of us, that fuzzy, fizzy, carbonated energy. I mean, isn't that really how it feels? Isn't that how it feels right now? Don't you feel a little carbonated inside? You might physically feel that too. Your stomach might hurt. 
You might get tension headaches. Your neck and shoulders might hurt or scrunch up more than normal, more than normal in those Zoom meetings, (laughs) more than normal. So now that you know, I, I relate like I can totally feel this, right? We're all in the same place where our head is nodding. Yes, yes, I can relate. So what do I do about this, Bridget? What can I do about this? You can manage yourself. If each of us, if everybody in different cities, different communities, different family groups, different places, if everybody managed themselves, true, things would look different because people have different views and such. But if they actually manage their emotions in a way that isn't about control, management and control is not the same thing. Management and control is not the same thing. Management is like managing your energy and your emotion is providing a structure that is safe or creating a container to allow for flow and expression. You have to let your emotions, you, you're not, you cannot control your emotions. You cannot do that. It's not possible. It's not possible. Emotions are about freedom and expression. And when you hold those back or tamp those down, That's when you riot inside. Your heart riots. Your heart rises up and fights your brain and your brain starts to come in harder and clamps down and it's more restrictive. Do you see? That's exactly what's happening inside of you right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The emotions have to flow. They have to move. They have to be somewhere. Let them coexist. Now, I know, I know, I know they're uncomfortable, especially the anxiety stuff. If you actually have like general anxiety disorder or social anxiety disorder, that kind of a thing, like legit, you go to a counselor, you go to a psychologist, you um, talk to a psychiatrist, you have medication, or maybe you should, okay, let's just be honest, maybe you really should have some of that stuff, some of that extra help with science and medicine and such. You know what I'm talking about here. You know. Let's let's just let's just have some coffee here. Just just a second. Let's just let's just take a break for a minute. Let's just breathe. Sometimes that fizzy energy carbonation can get us rolling, rolling, going, going, spinning, spinning, spinning in our heart space. And then the emotions get all mixed up. They get all confused. It's like, do you remember using watercolors? Like when you were little, like at school or something, and you mix paint together? And eventually it all turns kind of this brownie, purpley, really kind of darky color. After a while... Like it loses each of the individual beautiful colors you put on your paper if you keep mixing them all together over and over again without letting each one have its own individual place, its ability and room to dry, its spot on the page, et cetera, et cetera. You just have a big mess. Everything meshes together and becomes that brown paint. Not that brown is bad, but brown is its own color. Okay, let's be clear. Use it with purpose and intention. Not as a, oops, I'm too much. Ooh, ooh, is that a good emotion? Oh my goodness, that's one I have. Let's just cheers to that. Cheers, another drink of coffee. I'm too much. That's one of the emotions. It also happens to be a belief which is connected to your mind, which is a thought. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Looky, looky here, looky here. Our mind, our thoughts, and our emotions, our feelings are connected. What do you know? What do you know? Hmm. That's a good thing. That's a good thing because you want to work together. You want to be on your own side. You don't want to fight against your mind and to fight against your heart. You want freedom. You want flow. You want acceptance. You want love. This is what people talk about when they talk about self-love or acceptance or honoring yourself or valuing yourself, recognizing your own worthiness. That's what people, that's what people are talking about. 
They're talking about this battle with the mind and the heart and the emotions and the freedom of thought and the freedom of feeling. They both must coexist. And that is not an easy thing. That's why we work with managing our energy of our emotions, not controlling, managing and controlling. It's not the same thing. Think about any boss you've ever had at a job that's a manager. Think about them. Can they really control you? Uh, No. Can they influence you? Yes. Can they provide a structure and expectations? Yes. Policy procedure? Yes. Influence? Yes. But they do not control you at all. You are independent. Uh Uh-huh. Yes, you are. You are free. So let's practice and embrace that freedom. Freedom doesn't come from outside of you. It comes from your mind and your heart and your soul and your human body all in alignment, you. This energy of calm in chaos, it comes from you. And calm isn't a state where there's a person meditating with their legs crossed and their hair all up in a bun and their hands gently laid upon their lap, focusing upward with a golden sunrise behind them. That is not our reality most of the time. That is not peace or calm. Calm is when you are coexisting, when all parts of you have freedom. Your thoughts can be free and your heart feeling and energy can be free to flow. Not free outside, not not a requirement of somebody else's acceptance of your feelings. Other people do not have to understand. Ooh, ooh, that's a big one. We should do a whole episode about that. Other people do not have to understand my my feelings. Do you know how many people listen to Sunday morning coffee? Not that many. I know that's shocking because it's so great. <laughs> It's so inspiring, right? (laughs) I hope so. (laughs) Thanks for listening, by the way. Not that many people. (laughs) Oh, more coffee, more coffee. Let's take a break, more coffee. Emotions, I'm going to get emotional here. Not that many people have to understand you, and it's okay. You're not made for everybody. Everybody's unique. That's why there needs to be freedom and flow. And that only is a gift that you give yourself. That is not about other people accepting you. You don't need your value from other people. You need your value inside you. And right now, you're not letting yourself find that calmness that you want. You're not, you're not at peace with yourself. You're at war because your brain and your thoughts, your old patterns, society, things you're taking in externally, what you're watching unfold in current events, is creating a whole conversation in your mind without any input from your heart, your feelings, your emotions, except for our fear and negative energy that draws upon all of your past experiences and maybe fear of the future, things that you're afraid of, wounds, maybe triggers, all sorts of just really tough emotions come through during that experience with the mind. Where's your spirit in that? Where's your intuition? It doesn't even, it's not even at the dang table. We've only been talking about the <laughs> Hi, my little dog just came running up to me. You probably heard him. Hi, Toby. We've only been talking about the mind and the heart, but what about the soul, the spirit? What about that source inside you, the resource inside you, the energy inside you? You are so much more than you know. That source energy in your belly, we call it the solar plexus if you're a chakra person. That source, that understands you, okay? That gets you. That's your calm. That's your calm button, Your belly button, your calm button, okay? Push it. (laughs) Push it real good, all right? Push it. (laughs) Push it and be present. Be with yourself, okay? You're not going to be disappointed by what you discover. You're going to have emotions. You are, and that's okay. Emotions are just information. They are feelings. They're, They're designed to give you your uniqueness, your creativeness, your freedom, 
to, to practice self-compassion and to understand, really understand inside of yourself what love is. Because love is unconditional inside you when you allow your emotions to be. And when you do not need somebody else to validate them. People do not have to agree with you. People that don't have to understand you. I know that's a shocker and it's hard because I know, I under, believe me, I get it. I understand that. I want people to understand where I'm coming from on Above Life channel, on my Fairy Grasshopper channel. I want people to understand so that they can see the, the benefit, the value, and like really take advantage of what I'm sharing here, right? And make their lives better and get empowered and get inspired and be healthy and be be recognize their own value. Like I want that. I want that. I want people to understand here the purpose, the deeper meaning, the broader purpose beyond the entertainment value of cool afterlife celebrity talks, right? There's more here. I want people to understand that, but some people won't. And you know what? That's okay. (laughs) That's fine. That has to be fine. That has to be okay. You have to be okay if people don't understand you. That can't be part of your happiness. It just can't be. You're going to be disappointed. So if you want the calm energy during this chaotic space that we're in, don't create the chaos inside yourself. Calm the chaos within There are so many tools you can use to do that. You can use tapping, EFT. If you don't know what that is, Google it up. The Tapping Solution is a good resource on YouTube. Brad Yates Tapping. Brad Yates, Y-A-T-E-S, is a good resource for tapping. Meditations and visualizations. I have several that you can utilize if you choose to do that. Here on Sunday Morning Coffee, I have meditations. Look at the playlist. There are meditations I have shared that will help you. I actually did a series called Within that will also inspire you to work within body, mind, heart, and soul. Body, mind, heart, and soul. That's the model I use in my coaching work, in my business, in my intuitive coaching, in my psychic work. Body, mind, heart, and soul. Alignment. You working together within yourself. Check out that within series. I'll put a link to it in this description if I remember. Other tools you can use. Nature. Easy. Stuff is easy. (laughs) It's so easy. It's free. Nature. Go for a walk. Look at the sky. Do some drawing. Do some writing. Get your journal out. Sketch. Doodle. Doodle. Go for a walk and gather some natural things like sticks or leaves or seashells or rocks. Bring them home. Put them in a little spot on your table or on your windowsill and feel that energetic support, the basic simple energy support, the peace, the calm. Nature is calming. It's a gentle energy flow. It's easy to shift your energy state into a calming place if you are walking in nature, if you are sitting on a bench outside, if you are sitting on your back porch, if you are by the water, if you are looking up at the clouds in the sky, standing outside, if you're in the middle of the city, just look up, 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 up. Look at the clouds. Look at the sky. Feel the expanded energy of nature supporting you, the elements of air the elements of the sun, the element of earth, the energy of water, all these things are to support you. Your solar plexus, your spirit loves that, loves it. You don't have to understand it because why? Because you don't. Understanding is not a requirement. These are just some tools. These are just some simple, simple tools. Use a card deck. If you're not familiar with card decks, They're not all tarot or specifically lineage focused or ancestral or complicated storylines. Just so you know, they're not all complicated. There's some very beautiful tarot decks though. Oh my goodness. Use a card deck. If you want to know what those are or what 
they're not creepy or freaky or weird. If you think that, then um, you're limiting yourself, my friends. You're limiting yourself. Check out Fairy Grasshopper and watch my card readings. I do card readings with awesome card decks. Denise Lynn, she's my fave right now. Denise Lynn, L-I-N-N. She's great. I'll put some links below to some of her card decks that I use. Easy, basic, positive. There's even these card decks that I use that you can have at work. They're not overtly spiritual. You can be incognito in the office and still be inspired and connected and finding your calm in the chaos. And don't you need that in the office space? Oh, yeah, you do. I'm thinking in the workspace, yeah, you might need some calm in the chaos, whether it be a a classroom, (laughs) the nurse's station, or an office, right? All right. I hope that this Sunday morning copy, copy, coffee episode has helped you today find the calm within you at least begin to connect with all the ways that you can manage that energy within yourself there really is a freedom in that connection and i want that for you you deserve it (laughs) and honestly you need it i think it's a requirement moving forward that we all have to kind of figure out our own stuff manage ourselves right now I think that that's a very valuable skill, but I think it's going to be a prerequisite, a minimum qualification for humanity moving forward. So uh, let's all kind of figure this out together. All right. So I'm Bridget. Thanks so much for listening to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I hope you stay inspired by watching Above Life channel on YouTube. Fairy Grasshopper, my intuitive and vlogging channel on YouTube. And find me on social media, Bridget Inspired on Facebook and Bridget Inspired on Instagram. Thanks for listening.